I always try and give you your money's worth when I make a video. Most of you aren't paying me any money, so I guess I shouldn't care, but I do. And I'm a little embarrassed to put this video out because it's going to be pretty short and sweet and simple. But we're going to talk about an issue that is giving a whole lot of people a whole lot of anxiety. And it turns out that it shouldn't. The issue that we're going to talk about is the core temperature warning. Have you ever seen in your OSD, the Betaflight OSD says core temperature, and then it says a temperature like 60, 70, 80 something degrees. And people wonder, what is that? Should I care? And what should I do to fix it? How do I get my core temperature back down? The core temperature is the temperature of the microprocessor on your flight controller. The F7 or F4 chip it has a temperature sensor in it. And Betaflight checks that temperature sensor to see if the chip is getting too hot. There's two reasons why I don't think you should care about this warning. And I'm going to show you how to just get rid of it at the end of this video. Number one, Betaflight's threshold for when the chip is too hot seems to me to be really conservative. If you like overclock the chip in your, in your, in your computer, they can get up to 80, maybe even 90 degrees Celsius. And that's just like a normal operating temperature for them above about 90 degrees Celsius. It's a little more concerning, but even then, number one, it's not that dangerous. And number two, what are you going to do if your core temperature is too hot? Nothing. You're going to freaking put a heat sink on your flight controller. You're going to undervolt it. That's an overclocking thing. You can't do that on your, on your, on you, there's nothing you can do about it. So number one, beta flight kicks this warning off when it's not actually a concern. And number two, even if it was a concern, what are you going to do? You're going to replace your flight controller, or maybe you're just going to take off and fly and the air from the props will cool it down or whatever. But the point is, here is how you can get rid of the core temp warning forever and never think about it again. Here in the Betaflight OSD tab over on the right hand side, there is the warnings section. And here in the warnings section, you can decide which of these individual conditions you want to be warned about. So for example, I usually turn off uh, battery not full. I don't care if I plug in a battery and it's not full. Just don't even tell me about that, right? So what you can do is turn off the core temperature warning and then never turn it on again and never think about your core temperature ever again. But wait a minute, Joshua, what if my core temperature is too high and then as a result, my flight controller lights itself on fire and burns up? Well, then you're going to buy another flight controller. Your flight con If your core temperature is running so hot that it destroys itself, then it was defective in the first place. Don't buy that flight controller. Just buy a different one. Replace it. You'll be fine unless you're doing some like really unusual stuff. Like you're sticking your flight controller inside a, a hot can something where it's getting under normal. I can't even talk under normal mic multi rotor operation, a flight controller mounted in a, in a quadcopter with just a little bit of air on the props. Core temperature is just not a concern. Turn it off. Never think about it again. And that's not what the beta flight devs think you should do. But that's what I do. And I can't as a, say as I've ever had a flight controller burn itself up or burn itself out as a result. That's it. Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.